So after playing Blackout last night, I finally reached tier 100 in the Contraband stream, and as a result I unlocked the amazing Switchblade X9. Given that Treyarch streamlined the Contraband stream from 200 down to 100 tiers, I want to talk about what happens once you reach tier 100. Hey guys, it's Rage Gamer, and let's get right into it. So back at the start of Operation Grand Heist, it was revealed that the Contraband stream literally only went up to tier 100, and after that, there were no more tiers whatsoever. You couldn't even earn reserve cases, all you could do was earn them through that time progress with that circular progress bar in the top right hand corner of the screen. Or of course you could buy cases, but there was no way to actually earn them in the contraband stream like we had in the previous operation. Well, after a lot of feedback and Treyarch listening, supposedly, things all got changed up and it went back to how we had it before. So it now means once you reach tier 100, you then just start earning reserve cases. So it's cool because you can earn reserve cases through the contraband stream still, i.e. as you're playing, but at the same time you also earn them through that circular progress bar in the top right hand corner of your screen, so you earn two cases at a time once you reach tier 100, which I think is a pretty cool way to go about it. Now I don't like how much stuff is actually in the reserves, especially because they've taken a bunch of stuff from the last operations, which I don't really have a problem with as such, it's just a lot of it is absolute rubbish. If it was mainly good stuff or it was stuff that was actually useful I wouldn't mind, but a lot of it is just silly stuff like stickers, calling cards, pointless outfits or face camos that all look the same anyway and the rarity system is all messed up where something really common and rubbish is apparently rare that doesn't make any sense but yeah so that's what happens once you reach tier 100 now there's no new weapons or anything like that in the reserves although there are weapons from the previous reserves that have got put in and also mark 2 variants and stuff like that so there's a lot of cool stuff to still kind of grind out for even if you reach the end of the 100 tiers and it's kind of good in a way because if you miss the previous operations you can then just keep going into the reserve cases both like I say through that circular progress bar and in the main contraband stream both will get you reserve cases and when you earn them you can obviously unlock say mark 2 variants and stuff like that of the previous dlc weapons that were added to the game and i just wanted to point out you may be thinking oh there's still quite a long time left of this operation have you done it so quickly i haven't bought anything but if you want to check out my video on how to rank up through the tiers faster then make sure you check out the video i'll put a link on screen a card and i'll leave a video in the description it's one of the first on my channel anyway if you want to check that out make sure you how to level up faster a lot of free ways to do it and you don't have to, have to spend any money if you don't want to the other thing i don't like about the reserve cases is that they add a lot of rubbish stuff in it like camos but instead of just having it as oh here's a green camo for all weapons they do it as individual camos for each weapon so you can unlock the green and blue camos for you know the switchblade the damien all the assault rifles separately and the same as for all the other weapons in the game so you have to get the camo like 30 something times rather than just earning it once and obviously if you think you've got two of those camos so a green and a blue one that's almost 70 items just for those two camos and then obviously if you include all the rubbish calling cards silly stickers emblems and face paints and all that nonsense it really dilutes down the loophole of actually good stuff that you can get out of there so you know getting as many cases as you can through both like say the contraband system and leveling up time wise is really really good and it really helps out and i'm pleased because i haven't had to spend a penny on this game to actually get to this point so far so i'm really pleased with that so you honestly just keep earning cases until you earn every item in the reserves which at the moment is very unlikely because there are so many of them especially because stuff rolls over from previous operations so if you were able to put enough time in or spend money you could actually theoretically get to the end of the reserves at some point in the first operation i think it was into like the six or nine hundred cases or something like that 900 tiers that is so i don't know how long it would take especially because you're earning two cases at once i imagine it would probably be going into the late hundreds if not early thousands because there is still so much stuff pointless and not in there and the other thing is obviously you can get duplicates and every three times you get a duplicate you get one reroll but that still doesn't really help because that means there's two items you've wasted because they've been duplicates so i've still got a long ground away i'm going to try and just you know level up as much as i can get a few good things out of the reserves and i'm glad now because i've earned all the main stuff that they've actually designed for this contraband stream and now everything else is just going to be a bonus so you know if you check out the video like i said to level up through the tiers faster it makes it really really easy and i'm so glad they added tier boost because it makes it so much quicker but yeah thank you very much for watching guys if you've got any thoughts on the contraband stream system how you like it changed or anything like that just let me know to have a like in the comment section but thanks very much for watching and i'll see you all on the next video